practice this stuff. Think about it when you street ride. All these things work together. We'll review them at the end of the day so we can kind of get a little bit better feel for them. The last thing on the list and the thing that sort of enables all of this is body position. Um, makes everything work easier. Makes everything work better. Um, now, that said, the body position on the track isn't the same as body position on the street. If you did that in, in, front, of your local, uh, in front of your local sheriff, he'd have you. That, that's not something that anybody wants to see on the street. But it does illustrate some really good points. That's an extreme body position. That's one of our instructors. Uh, that's his slide, actually, put that together. I think it's a really nice little, little slide. And um, that's Nathan Roberts, one of our instructors. So we look at the key points of that of that picture. His head position is low and inside. His inside elbow is low and inside, sort of pointing down toward the track. His inside leg position is open, away from the body. The tire contact patch is being helped out by limiting the lean angle. He doesn't have to, because he's able to use his body, he's able to limit the lean angle and improve the traction. And the outside leg is tucked in next to the tank, holding himself on the tank. So, in, to break it down a little bit further, the balls of your feet are on the tip of the foot peg. Right? Because if the arch of your foot is on the foot peg, you can't turn, you can't achieve this position. You can't turn your heel in, therefore you can't get your leg out. But if the ball of your foot is pivoting on the tip of your foot peg, then you can swing your foot. There's room, there's a place for your heel to go. So the ball of the foot on the tip of the foot, the foot peg. Your butt is light on the seat. That's why Chris was talking about your quads burning. Because if you're not, if you're not here, if you've got your whole body weight planted on the seat, you can't make the motorcycle work effectively. So you should be on the balls of your feet and supporting yourself with your quads as much as possible. I mean, you know, by the end of the day, they're gonna be cooked. So, um, but think about that. Think about being light in the seat. Not off the seat, but light, easy on the seat. Take that weight down. Move that weight as low as you possibly can, which is the foot base, right? Think how much higher all that body mass is. For me, it's 205 pounds. is almost two and a half feet higher off the ground, which makes the bike that much less stable. The lower you can move that body mass, the more stable the bike is going to be. Head and shoulders, just kind of generally low and inside. Don't try to do that today. That's just an extreme example to illustrate the points. But head and shoulders, low and inside. If you're looking outside the windscreen, you have your head in about the right place. If you're looking at the corner through the windscreen, you probably don't have, you don't have your body in the right place. One of the things some people say is uh, kiss the mirror. Move your head out and down toward the mirror, where the mirror would be, unless you still have it on there. So think about it generally as low and inside. Hands, arms, and shoulders, loose. One of the things that people do is they tend to grab the, the handlebars when they get nervous. So they tense up. That travels up your arm, into your shoulder, into your neck. And by the end of the day, you're like, oh. So if you're here, then these are relaxed. You can just have your hands resting lightly on the bars. And, and, and you're not pushing away from the bars. The elbows are bent. Shoulders are relaxed. You're on the balls of your feet. You're loose here. You should always kind of think about, am I gripping the bars? Am I locking up in my hands and shoulders? Loose. Make it happen down here. Put all that weight on the balls of your feet. Move side to side without using your arms. So we're going to have to move from one side of the bike to the other as we turn, right? We don't want to pull ourselves across with our arms because that's going to upset the bike. It's going to disturb the suspension. It's going to prevent the bike from working the way it wants to work. So it's going to go from, from the ball of this foot to the ball of this foot. Back. You don't want to go up, over, and down. You just want to move laterally across the bike. Outside the windscreen to look into the corner. And of course, weight on your inside foot peg. So if you're light in the seat, most of his body weight is concentrated right there on the tip of that inside foot peg. That again moves the mass of your body to its lowest possible position, the most stable position. So that's going to allow all these other skills that we talked about in the first session to work for you, benefit you, keep you in control, allow you to protect that control. Um, take your chair and flip it around and sit down. Why not, right? What else we got? So, it hurts already.
ready. You gotta think of so get on the balls of your feet and try and lift your butt out of the chair. That's that's the position right there. That's what's gonna make your quads work. It's hard, isn't it? And, and try not to do it with your hands, right? Keep your hands relaxed on the handlebars. Hold yourself up with the balls of your feet. Now do this. That's all I can do. <laughs> you get the point, though, right? That's your body. What's that? I thought they were I need a personal trainer. I'm not. A... That's why it's it's hard to uh, that was the gym class to ride the track all day, right? By the end of the day, your quads will be cooked if you're using them correctly. Hey guys, think. I mean, we were doing that with our our body weight straight up and down. If you add your head and a lot of your upper body to one side when it's leaned over here, and then you have to transition it all the way back over, it's really gonna burn at that point. Again, let me remind everybody. Extreme example. Now, here's another example. Uh, the rider shall go on name um, because there are some problems with that body position. That's me, actually. Uh, <laughs> notice, uh, notice that my outside leg is flapping loose like a broken bird wing. That's a problem because you're not planted on the bike. You're not connected to the machine. You're, you're all over the place. So tuck, take that knee and tuck it into the bike. Pull it in. And that will lock you onto the machine and allow you and the bike to work together much better. That, because you're not in the seat, right? You're light on the seat, so that's one of your main connections to the bike is tucking that leg into the tank and using that leg to hold you on the bike comfortably. Um, body position is very is too upright. Notice, um, notice how Nathan is down over his bike. He's down here, right? In that other picture, yes. That other rider, that knucklehead, is sitting up straight, right? Very erect in the upper body, which makes it very hard to move across the bike. And it doesn't allow the bike to, it limits how much the rider can move down and inside. And it doesn't put you in the best position to move from corner to corner. So think about moving your upper body down over the bike, supporting yourself on the quads, and then use your leg to hold yourself on the bike. That's, that's a very bad habit that I've, I've yet been able to, I'm unable to break. But use this example. All right. I think that big one on that side, yeah. That's a bug. There you go. So use this example, but if this is a, you know, sort of like spinal tap, if this one is 11, take it back to about four or five, right? This is an extreme example, so roll it back to about four or five. and. Think about moving that head in, kind of like we did on the chairs here a minute ago, moving side to side. Think about using that elbow to point the way down toward the track, and think about concentrating your weight on that side. So that'll help tremendously in how the bike feels and how well you're able to execute those other skills, braking and so on.